Hi, <laughs> everybody. It's now day three of Cramathon, and I actually did some reading yesterday so that's exciting and also a little bit this morning too so i finished the covid manual so did i complete a challenge yes i did non-fiction love that for me i'm counting it i don't care and then i also continued reading goddess in the machine this morning so i'm now on chapter 23 which i think is around page like 218 or something like that so we're getting that done and i think i said that that was going to be my 2020 new release book so we're making progress with the challenges we're kicking ass today today is like a super chill day i'm tanning right now obviously as you can see and then i need to go do groceries and then i'm also going to drive down to my workplace because i start tomorrow and i have absolutely no idea where this place is so i'm just going to do like a drive-by kind of thing i also have no idea like what time i start because they were supposed to email me like a start time and i haven't heard from anybody and there's like no contact information for me to be like hi like tell me when i'm working because i was originally placed somewhere else and then like the head of the department was like hey can we move you to this center because the other center is full and i was like yeah sure but they were like okay fantastic like your lead will reach out to you and like i haven't heard anything and that was yesterday so i'm kind of like freaking out a little bit because i don't like not having all the information before i go do something so that's stressful it's only 12 o'clock right now so i mean i think they close at like three or four so they still got a couple hours to contact me so fingers crossed that actually happens but yeah other than that not much going on today i'm not going to wills because i have coaching tonight every wednesday night i go to one of the girls houses that i used to coach last year and i just kind of like run through some drills with her it's like hella hot though so i don't really want to make her like do a lot of like heavy running so it's gonna be like very chill not a lot of movement because i think it's like 34 degrees which i have no idea what that is in fahrenheit because i'm canadian and can't do math because i have dyscalculia so <laughs> sorry google it if you're really interested but it's hella hot right now so running in that heat is not okay especially because it's like hecka humid too so i don't want her to faint because last week she was not feeling well because of the heat and was like i feel really dizzy and i'm gonna die so i was like mm -hmm, okay so this week's gonna be chill but yeah that's all that's going on right now not that exciting so I'm going to go continue tanning obviously I'm gonna listen to my audiobook and then I will update you guys later I'll probably have quality car content too because my mom's coming with me for all the chores and errands today so we'll see you then we are off to Walmart to get groceries oh, oh. the beard not beer, the booze, because we don't drink beer because it's gross. Just fell. I just got an email from like head of HR and they were like, hey, please call this person for orientation information. And then they gave me my phone number. So still don't know what I'm doing. I hate not knowing it's 218 and I'm pretty sure they close at four. So I am stressing. No stress. No stress, just, just love. love. <laughs> Where's your mask? It's in my hand. I'm, mm -hmm. picking, I'm picking up the booze that you spilled Don't everywhere. Don't be an asshole. Wear a mask. It's right here. Don't be a dick. This is the only reason we come. Is it? Yes. It's all I need to make me happy in life. You should stop <laughs> drinking Monday to Friday after I've had two beers. So you're an alcoholic. Oh, yeah. Totally. Yeah, it's okay. Shots, go. Her Oh, you don't know I how usually to do it? I use breakable cups. I know, but I couldn't find it anywhere, so we got the little shot shots. Shot, 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 shot. Oh, dropped. Don't waste it. I didn't waste it. I picked it up. Oh. <laughs> that was one of oh. <laughs> He has a spot on his back. I like how you give your dog more attention than me. I gave you plenty of attention. <laughs> My oh. dog's damaged and fragile. So am I. <laughs> Accurate. Look at how big it is. Mm. Touch it? Oh. Yay, Will's business. <laughs> touch it. I'm not touching it. Come on. Oh, you touch it. Do it. Can I? I will. Do it. It's gonna eat me. It's a moth. <laughs> and then I have to shave. <laughs> Will's watching my video and notices that his beard Stop. is ugly. <laughs> My beard is ugly, but she won't let me take it off. Because you look like you're five if you take I'm it off. I'm five to you anyways. <laughs> yeah, but then I'll have to introduce you as my brother. 
that you are dating? Yeah. Weird. <laughs> Welcome to day four. Today is going to be a lot. So I was supposed to go start my job today, but they sent me this package of a thousand million forms saying that I need to get them all filled out before I'm allowed to work. So one of the forms that I have to fill out is like an immunization form to like make sure that I have all like my booster shots and like TB tests and shit done because I'm working with kids, right? So you have to get it signed by a physician. They sent that package to me one day before my start date. So there's no way I'm going to get into a doctor in literally one day especially during a pandemic so like i don't know what they were thinking whatever but i did end up being able to get into the doctor today because there was a cancellation at 2 30 so i am going to the doctors but they're not able to do my tb test because it's like a two-day thing and since it's thursday and the doctor's office is closed on saturday i wouldn't be able to go to get the test results on the second day because it's like a prick to your skin and then they have to like see how it reacts and that's how you determine if you have TB or not. I don't know, I've never gotten this done. And then so today I'm going to the doctor to go get my like immunization signed off but I might have to get my booster shot because you have to get it every 10 years and I am like irrationally afraid of needles so I've just been like panicking all day because like I might not need to get it but I have no idea when my last one was so I might need to get one today and I'm just like my heart and like I'm sweating and I'm freaking out so Will is coming over to like calm me down and bring me to the doctors my mom's also coming except like nobody can come in to the actual doctor's office with me since we're in the pandemic and everything so i'm probably going to faint by myself because i always faint anytime i get a needle and it's really stupid because i know that it is completely irrational and like needles aren't scary but my body just like freaks out every time i have to get a needle it's like the stupidest thing and i know it's stupid but i'm 24 year old afraid of needles whatever so yeah that's what's going on today going to the doctors and then tomorrow at 9 a.m i'm going to work but like I technically can't work because I have to wait until Monday to go get this TB test so like I'm gonna have to talk to my boss and be like hey listen like literally the only time I'm able to go get this is Monday which I'm scheduled to work so don't really know what's going on with that and then I'll have to go back on Wednesday morning to get the test results and like it's either you let me go get this test that is mandatory for this job or like I can't work for you so like take your pick but i'm hoping that like, they're gonna be chill and like let me do it because i don't want to deal with all that jazz because just it's stupid and i just <laughs> this whole job has just been like a super stressful experience and i just haven't even started yet and like i get that the onboarding process is like always difficult but like get your shit together you know but like reading wise i actually did do some reading this morning i am on page 269 of goddess in the machine i read it well listen to it while i was tanning and it's getting so freaking good i'm so here for it i'm like more than halfway through so we're almost done i can probably finish it i would say tomorrow after work maybe no reading is gonna get done today because will's coming over and i believe that after my doctor's appointment we're going back to his house to rinse more shirts because that's all we do i think he dyed shirts this morning so we don't have to do that but i'll probably just end up reading while he's doing all his stuff so maybe reading will get done we'll see but i need to go eat some food before this doctor appointment so i don't go on an empty stomach and puke everywhere so <laughs> love that for me so i just got my needle and i didn't even cry so progress but look <laughs> You can't see it, but I'm pouting. But now I have to wait by myself for 15 minutes to see if I die, I guess, which I didn't even get fainty. So maybe we're making progress with our fear of needles. Holy shit. Tell everyone how proud of me you hey, are. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> she got a needle, she didn't pass out, she didn't need to lay down, and she came out of the building all like, yeah, look at me, I did it on your high horse. My At your battle scar. Yeah. She Good got times. shot. And I got coke and candy because he's a good little boyfriend. Little. There we go again with that <laughs> word. Yes, I'm very proud of you. Thanks. You did very well. Now what? Home time. Which home? Mine. Okay. We're going to his house. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye.